guys, let's get into this, right? Arsenal won, Brentford won, <laughs> drop points for the Arsenal. Let's see. Thing is, yeah, like at the end of the day, I think a draw probably is a fair result. However, the VAR, David, no, the no, VAR no. caught on Ivan Tony and whoever else, you know, Nordgaard and whatever. Oh, God, bro. I couldn't believe it. Like, you know, like when they're checking VAR, I'm thinking, why are they looking at this situation when there's another belated offside afterwards as well? Um, frustrating day at the Emirates. I, I, I did text you guys uh, in the WhatsApp group before the kickoff. I said, I'm a bit nervous, bro. The crowd are not, the crowd's flat. There's yeah, no Pete, what, what do you mean by that? How did you, how did you, so, so Peter texted us telling us, oh, the crowd's flat at the Emirates. It doesn't seem like everyone's up for it. This is at like 2.30. How did yeah. you know? Like, what, what, because, were you, what were you seeing? What were you sensing? Because bear in mind, right, I'm, I'm there hours before and I, and I, and I watched the build up rise as we get closer to kickoff, right? Whereas for me, I'm like, at this, at this point, it felt like, you know, a part of me was like, is it an early kickoff? Or is it, is it, uh, you know, is it, is it, a, you know, is there something that's not normal, not right? So, you know, I'm a bit like, <laughs> Peter, we were like an ogre, you know, polo settings. Yeah, so like, obviously, like, let's say it's 2.30 or whatever, 2.15. Normally, either the stadium is filling up and people are just bouncing, and there's like usually like interviews pre-match, there's certain things going on. So the crowd are chanting for the players, the crowd are, you know, they're singing their songs, whatever. And I don't know, like the, the, just like the air, everything just felt like flat, everything felt weird before kickoff. And I was like, that's why I texted you. I was like, guys, I'm a bit I'm a bit nervous, I'm anxious. Like the, the, the whole day I was anxious and I didn't understand kind of why. I didn't know why I had that feeling, but I just did. And then even as the game turned up, it, you know, Brentford were brilliant in the first half. We were lucky to be nil-nil at half time. Um, and then obviously, second half, once we took the lead, I felt like brilliant. Okay, now the now this, you know, the weight is off the shoulders. We're good to go. Let's crack on. But we conceded like soon, maybe 10 minutes after the after we scored, after Leandro Trossard, first goal for the Arsenal. Um, you know, after that happened, it's a bit uh, yeah, it's just a bit, I don't know, it's a bit um. Yeah, it was just a bit weird. The atmosphere was very, very weird. And yeah, that's what I really had to say on that. I, th I think at the end of the day, a draw is probably a fair result because I think Brentford did deserve something in that game. Um, but the the goal they were given was was an absolute shambles. Uh, it should have never been a no, never been a goal ever, not in a million months of Sundays. Um, talk to me, uh, David. Like, what was your thoughts on the game from what you saw? Um... Yeah, Martinelli needs to be benched. Um, Whoa. Yeah, yeah, he, he's just he's just off form, man. All our players are going off form at the wrong, 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 wrong time. Games are coming <laughs> hey, quick. Rubinho, what, what's going on, bro? You're, you're, you're leaning, bro. You're leaning. <laughs> I'm, just, I'm, I'm just watching the football. I'm just oh, hold on. Don't it's, ruin it. Don't okay, ruin it, bro. Okay. 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 I'm not ruining anything. I'm just watching the football. That's uh, so cool. People in the comments are trying to ruin it. Nathan said, uh, David said Liverpool 1 0 down. So I'm looking around. Hey, hey, there's no goal. Hey, no, hey, nothing's happened. Now TV needs to pattern up, bro. Are you that behind, bro? No, there's no, there's, bro, there's no goal. I'm watching it oh. live. I've got live okay. Sky Sports in front of me. There's no hey. goal. Hey, Nathan, I, was, alive, I was looking right? around. I said, "Hold on, did I rewind yeah, this?" No, no, what's going on? No, no, I'm just. I can say that. I'm saying nothing. I was just like, "Oh, what happened yeah, there?" That's what's leading. <laughs> but yeah, <laughs> why is it Martinelli? But yeah, he's just off form. Uh, I heard people talking about uh, Zinchenko was poor as well, not overlapping, leaving them man the wingers on their own and all that. Once again, Eddie and Ketia is not scoring. Um, um I him. Him. <laughs> as I said, oh. number nines, you need your number nine to be scoring, mate. These are games where, yeah, if you had a striker, he just gets that little chance, bang, go. And uh, yeah, I don't know. I'm not, I'm not, yeah, I'm not deflated, but yeah, it's expected. This is this is Arsenal for you, man. Yeah, I mean, look, it, it, I think. I'm, I, I don't know where I stand in terms of who should be dropped and whatever, because City's a big game and I feel like you've got to put your best players out on Wednesday. Um, Mikel <clears> needs to adapt. He needs to adapt to the situation and I, make something happen, man, because not, I, I don't, I don't I, think I, the teams are sussing us out, but like that Newcastle draw at the Emirates was a 
good textbook kind of plan for anybody coming to the Emirates and you know wanting to get a point off us at least. Um, I didn't see you uh, uh, were like two points. That like, I remember you guys being like what eight points ahead. Why? How did it go down to two? Did I just clock? You guys haven't won a game in a while. So yeah. what's happening yeah. there? <laughs> Yeah, we ain't won since Manchester United, so it's been a minute. And meanwhile, City have had their games. They've won some. They've lost one. Do you know what I'm saying? So at the end of the day, it was a so bit they like... Win, they win, they win. Albeit, you do have a game in hand. But yeah, yeah. We all, yeah, albeit we got a game in hand. But if City do beat us on Wednesday, they go top of the league. For, you know, and you almost start to feel like, man, that's such a gut-wrenching punch. But we do have that game in hand. Unfortunately or fortunately, it's against Everton at home. Um, which you would think, you'd like to think we should put them away. Um, but Arsenal are struggling against teams that, that don't necessarily... I don't, I don't want to say Brentford came here to draw, because I don't think that's fair. But Brentford's football was different to what I was used to. They were kicking the ball long every time. And I never thought Brentford to be this long ball team. So in my head, I was a bit like, hmm, this is the game plan. They've got a game plan here. And I think they looked at the people, the likes of Newcastle, for example, coming here and, and you know stuffing us out, kind of thing, uh, doubling up on Saka, you know Saka and Martinez. You didn't even know they played, um, uh, you know, just little things like that. Whether that's just good defending from Brentford, they're a good side, Brentford this season. You know, unbeaten in ten. Um, I, I, don't, I can't remember you know the last sort of they've drawn a lot of games, but nonetheless, they're seventh in the league for a reason. So yeah, we've got to kind of dust ourselves off. You know, we're still top of the league as we speak. We do the job against Man City at home. What I'm more confident about is that at least Man City are going to come out and play, I think, anyway. And if they're going to come out and play at the Emirates, that's, that, that, that suits us. Bro, you know? Big man. So, go for it. Big, big man. <laughs> I, I, He's angry. I, I, don't, I don't want this city, bruv. Nah. I'm sorry. Pep is on this, fire, isn't this, he? This is... This, <laughs> Peter, not happy. Yo, Pete, this is the wrong game to go into on bad form. Uh, you can't just flick it like a switch like that and, okay, we're playing City now. Let's... Nah, I don't work like that, man. I see what you're saying, but remember, we beat Spurs and Man United back-to-back also this season, like this this and this this calendar year. It wasn't that long ago that we were going to, to, to Tottenham and we play, we uh, beat Man United. And then we came... And just before that, we had that draw with Newcastle. You understand what I'm saying? So it's not like... It's not like it actually can't be turned on. I feel like against Man City... It's going to be a hundred mile an hour. It's going to be on fire on on Wednesday night. Yeah, but first uh, of all, now this is the first time. Actually, no, we played them in the FA Cup, but like, ah, big man, that yeah. midfield, the the Bruyne and them man, then Harland, bro, ah, that's just stress. And it's on, and it's a Wednesday as well. Yeah, like everyone's yeah. coming back. Everyone's coming back from on a Saturday. Fine, come. That's the game. That's the day you want to play that game. Everyone, no work. Everyone's coming back from work. Everyone's gonna be like. And if we don't start well, it's just going to be, you know how the Emirates gets in it. Like, see, so you're keeping the ball. Everyone's going to get nervy. As just, uh, yeah, I think what's, think so? what's scarier yeah. is that, you know, this game is at the Emirates. Let's say City get a result here. They know they're bringing you back to the Etihad. Like, it feels yeah. like, a, like a, you know, like a Champions League second leg, like first leg, second leg. If they get a result here, they can come and, and, and take you back to theirs. So, you got to stay on top. Yeah, I'll bite your hand off for a draw right now, you know, because it still keeps us top. We still got the game in hand. As long as we don't lose Wednesday, I'll be satisfied. I'll take that. I'll take that. I'll take a draw for you now. I think the the problem now we've got is Man City have been riled up by this whole Premier League thing, and like I don't know if you lot saw at the Etihad when they booed the Premier League anthem, just like they when they booed the Champions League anthem. Now they're booing the Premier League one, and it seemed like in the first half, especially and they need to get out this damn league. Especially in the first half, right? <laughs> <All day. laughs> in the first half, like you know, they, you know, City just set a rocket off, and they were they were at Villa. They were just on Villa in that first half, and it kind of made me think, "Damn it, this it's news the, that broke yeah. out does not need to come out now." It's, the, it's so, a wrong. You see what I'm saying? The wrong time. The wrong time. You're sort of waking up a little beast, aren't you? And you're like kind of ruffling some feathers. Um, but who knows? Look, David, we know that Man City are vulnerable in in, in some cases. And I think if Arsenal just go for it, we can really shake them. The crowd will be right on top of the on top of the crowd on, on top of the game. I do see us winning on Wednesday. I'm not going to lie. I do see us winning on Wednesday still because because I, I kind of think yeah we need a big game 
You understand? Because I feel like the Everton's and the Brentford's and whatever, I feel like we're going to keep struggling had we kept playing that kind of same kind of team. Whereas now that we've got a fiery game going on, we've got a team, we're up against a team that wants to play football, it will open up the space for us a little bit more. But the problem I have is, oh. yeah, the problem I have is we've been letting teams control the midfield. I don't know, like, position-wise, we've not been we've not been keeping it well. Like, Everton and Brentford, like, people just carving up chances left, right, centre, man. This and this is the wrong team to like, yo, yeah, yeah, you know yeah. what I mean. We're giving teams a lot of possession and teams like, that we, we <clears throat> like, yeah, teams yeah, that are I, not supposed to have the ball. I still feel like we have the majority of the ball in these games, though. Like, you know, Brentford, as I said, their goal kicks all taking them long. Everton, Everton, we still had, I think, 70 percent, 60 percent possession of the ball. Um, but, you know, Brentford had some really strong midfielders, strong attackers. You know, Ivan Tony is no, no mug. He can hold himself pretty well. And he got the better of Saliba. You know what I mean? Like, he, he really did. He really went toe-to-toe -to -toe with him. And Buemo was giving Ben White a hard time. So, and, and just things got, like that. Now you've you know? got Haaland. Now you've got Haaland now. If he's fit. If he's fit. Because remember, he came off at half-time with the, with the concussion or head injury or whatever. So, oh, okay. come off at half-time. So... There is that. But anyway, let's get into the comment section anyway. Oscar uh, C1 says, big up the panel. Big up yourself. Oscar, I was right about Tony. Ivan Tony. I was going to say, it's the return of positive P. I've not seen this guy in a while. <laughs> Bad says again. Let me, I'm, I'm, let me unmute you. <laughs> Oscar, we can't hear you. You're, you're, you're mute, cuz. He is Ooh. positive when they drop points. <laughs> no, I'm... <laughs> me, me and uh, me, I'm positive when they drop points. What are you talking about? Positive, positive, now. positive you're, beat has not been around for a hot minute. I was like, oh, yeah, when you were, when you were top of the league, winning everything, there was no positivity. Now, you, now you drop. <laughs> I'm sorry, David. Can you address this, please? What are they talking about? I I've been positive know, all season. Yeah, I've been. I, I don't yeah. know, mate. I've been vibing all season. <laughs> um, just to address the comment, uh, C1 is talking to me about Ivan Tony because he's a big Ivan Tony fan. Um, but my debate with him was that Callum Wilson will go to the World Cup and Callum Wilson did go to the World Cup. So, on a technicality, though, come on. Ivan Tony was going. I don't, I don't make the rules. I don't make the rules. Yeah. All right. Asad says, Ra, so Peter's taking the reins today. Yeah. Oscar's been relegated. Oscar tried to come late on an Abamyang thing, cuz. You know the ones on a Bamiang thing. Um, Mirad says, I'm holding on to it. Every penny stock, every penny stock is worth it. So he's still hanging on there. Um, I said, I reckon we put a, a UAV out on Lee Mason's yard. I mean, come on, this is, this is, this is outrageous, yeah, outrageous course. behavior. Assad, Assad says, draws a fair result. My guy, you got bullied in your own yard. Brentford deserved three points. That's two wins in five for Arsenal now. Typical um, gunners crumbling in February, March time again. I mean, look, uh, Brentford definitely were good value for money, no yeah. doubt. But we scored, but we scored a goal. You, you know what I'm saying? That's why I said the draw is a fair result. We did score. Yeah, you know? but, but they they had, had a goal. They had a goal ruled out that was uh, dubious. Which goal did they have ruled out? Didn't uh, the Wepo one where he got brought down and everyone was like, "Oh, but right. he shot well after the referee blew the whistle for a foul." I mean, like, did well it wind up in the net? Yeah, because everybody stopped playing. There's a goal ruled out, unfortunately. Um, yeah, I, I didn't watch the game. I saw match of the day, and it looked like uh, Brentford held their own a little bit. It looked like it uh, did. Arsenal did. Arsenal did. Figure, ooh, Arsenal needs to figure out what's going to take them through the, the second half of the season. Yeah, I think I think Mikel does need to bring in something a little bit different, whether it's a Martinelli situation with Trossard or even or, or even like I was looking at Xhaka and I was thinking, hmm, maybe Jorginho should come into this Xhaka situation. So at least you've still got Partey and Jorginho, right? So like just have something different, have something new. Did um, Jorginho come on? No, not at all. Vieira came on instead, and I was thinking, Rah, Vieira's on. Okay. You know? Um, and yeah, we, we need to do something different. We and I, and I know, I know these managers, your Peps, your Klops, and so on. They're very much like one way, and that's that. We get on with it, right? Which people, exp you know, admire, they respect it. Fine, but at the same time, like you know, when you're at this end of the league, trying to fight for certain things, I think as well, Mikel sort of being patient in the sense that there's still a lot of football to be played. Like if City beat us on Wednesday, the title is not over. You understand what I'm saying? It's not done. Like this, this, the title race is, is is full on. It's just chasing Man City is a different kind of animal. You know, you're not play, you're not. You'd rather be in front, being chased, than trying to chase City. You don't want to, you don't want to do that. You know what I'm saying? So, 
Yeah. Um, Anana's challenge on Allison was was outrageous. Yeah, you know, I'm seeing this. Um, let's Pretty let's outrageous. talk about because obviously uh, Liverpool nil, Everton nil. Um, the Merseyside derby looking like a relegation scrap at this point of the season. Um, but yeah, even game a little bit. But this Onana guy slides in on Allison, bro. It was a for no reason. He's it's like he's, he's not gonna get it. I mean, like, it's yeah, it's just unnecessary. Mm. Even Matip no, straight away. Who mm. are Everton playing up front? Um, I don't know. Uh, it looks like it's Wobi. It looks like Sims. No, it's Sims. No, I thought it would be some, some, it's, some, it's, some yeah, big guy. Probably. Who is this guy? So apparently, he's been ro- rocking it up in the. In the, in the I in can't the, lie. Sean, Sean, Sean dies. Sean dies. He's a scholar. Of players of scholar. all different nations is very funny to see. But yeah. <laughs> but yeah. Um, so, yeah, that's the situation there. Nil nil at Anfield as we currently stand. Mira says Sky Sports counted up. Um, to 12 points that we could have had over incorrect VAR decisions over this season. I mean, that's a lot of do points me there. Fa- Mira, do me a favour. Do me a favour, OK? Do me a favour. No, 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 no. Oscar, it's not do you do him a favour. This is how teams lose leagues. This is yeah, but, it's, but, but Arsenal have, have benefited from Arsenal are not the only one. I mean, I, uh, Arsenal aren't the only I, one. I, I, I told you, man. I told you, man. When you see stupid decisions and you celebrate them, it always comes back round. I right, came back it's round. Vicious, vicious cycle, I'm telling you. No, I'm, telling you. Know, I'm, I'm, I'm all for complaining about VAR decisions being done wrong, but count. Oh, we've counted twelve points where we should have. Shut up! Shut up! No, 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 we have food banks, right? One of the richest countries in the world. People work 37 and a half hours a week and they can't feed themselves. And they go to a feed food bank and it's heralded as our oh, great British benevolence. <laughs> in the same vein, we've got a show called Ref Watch, right? The show is dedicated to looking at the mistakes these bozos make on a week to week to week to week basis. It's out. It's outrageous, and and, and, just, and and we can say we can say um, springs around roundabouts. You lose some, you win some. But at the end, at the end of the day, how on God's green earth are they not doing their their job? The basics. You've got in this technology. The point of getting this in this technology is to use it appropriately, and they don't even draw the bloody lines. Yeah, what are we talking about? What is going on? What, 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 what the hell, man? That's why I, 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 tweet, is, I, I, I tweeted today. I, 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 I was tweeting today I saying, like, you know, how can there be human error with VAR? Like, how how are we here? You can't have human error when you've been given replay, you've been given TV, you've been given footage of all angles. Human error is not in, is not is, is not acceptable. And you know, I'm not one for people losing their jobs or whatever. You're right. No, they, they need to go. They need to they go. Have to go. They, have, they to go. have to go. The whole lot of them. It's a joke, bro. I, I look at this, and why is it that we're the only league that are struggling with VAR? I look at other leagues. The VAR is fine. People are making the correct decisions. People are doing things like that. What? Well, it's not a week to week basis that there's a calamity. Like it's why? So, uh, why? Why is it a weekly thing? That that's, that, something that, that's hey, obvious hey. to everyone can't be obvious to one person. I don't get does, it. And they're hey, the professional. Does, hey, does La Liga have <clears throat> ref watch, bro? No. <laughs> Do you see yes. any that's stu- do you have any other league that has referee? There's a referee, ex-referee talking about oh, this decision. It's only us. Yeah, get them out, man. Nah, man. Move, well, the, man. The, the annoying thing with ref watch is that nine times out of ten, they back the ref, you know. I see the man backing the ref, you know. Oh, Dubious decision. Hey, hey Dermot, what's his name? Yeah, right, Dermot, um, Dermot. Yeah. Gallagher? Gallagher. Yeah, yeah. He couldn't back it this week, bro. He said, yo, these lot were trash, bro. <laughs> they were on the stuff. Absolute fast. That's what you know is particularly egregious. When he says, you know what? I've looked through the rule book. I've looked through any nook, any cranny, any leeway. <laughs> I, can't, I can't give you no leeway. <laughs> I can't give you anything. I can't give you even... No, it's criminal. You know, beyond reasonable doubt. I can't give you any of that. What's funny <laughs> is... Like, <laughs> you know... <laughs> You know it was there. Like it's just, yeah, it's 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 ridiculous, man. It, we're talking about, and it took like three, four, five minutes to make a decision. Like we were there waiting for this Tony goal to be chalked offside because I was convinced it was offside. I, I got the replay on the screens. I'm like, don't worry, lads, it's gonna be chalked off. 
will crack on. Two twos now. The replay they kept showing, I was like, okay, you can show that replay if you want, but there's another one as well. The goal scorer himself is offside. <laughs> Never mind even friggin' what's my man's name? Was it um Nordgard or whoever? No, like, Nordgard, yeah. Never mind them man there. Tony himself. I was just like, nah, come on, it's a joke. It's a joke. Uh Mirad says, um, what's the latest on the Scandinavian winter soldier? Is he talking about <laughs> Erling Haaland? <laughs> Oh, dear. Listen, you talk too soon, my friend. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Scores. He's coming. That's what I'm saying. You, man. <laughs> let's, wait, let's, wait he's, let's wait till he's come and gone. He, yeah, he, he, do you know what? Do you know why? Do you know why it's so funny? He only played 45 minutes for an assistant goal that's and said, he, got, he said, I'm resting Bro, you. Bro, they're I'm resting you for Wednesday. <laughs> Let me let me let me get three points without him scoring. Then we can, can rinse. Yeah, then you can rinse, bro. Man, them are too <laughs> quick, man. What's wrong with you? It's a lot. It's a lot of things. Uh, Nathan says people are scared to say Zinchenko doesn't help Martinelli at all in the attacking phase. Bro, he didn't. Bro. <laughs> Yo, Martinelli will pick Ax. up the ball, yeah, and he's surrounded by two, three bad. And then I get then I get comments like this. Yeah, yeah. I told you about the Benito. That's a good point, you know? Huh? That's a good point, and that my yeah. man. Bro, because like, if if if, if, if Zinchenko's next to party, who's making an overlapping run? <laughs> Yo, the best players. <laughs> Martin is on the corner with three opposition players, three of them. That's a really Sanchez. good point. Mm. Um, and then, but then we get this: Assad says, uh, "Told man about the jogger Benito Werner. Martinelli is average. When we all see it." He's just a, a road runner, nothing special. That's a disrespectful comment. Mm -mm, that's very amazing. disrespectful comment. Me, me. No, man. He, he, he's, he's. Listen, he. The Newcastle game, they have done a good job in it because people are saying, "Oh, since the World Cup, he's not been good." I swear, he scored against West Ham, or at least played bloody brilliant against West Ham, and then against Brighton as well, and scored against Brighton, and then you know, then we got the, then we got the um since the New Year, Newcastle United at home, that Newcastle did a great job on him, and I think teams have said, "Brilliant, that's a textbook. We'll take that." Do you know what I'm saying so I don't I wouldn't sweat about Martinelli too tough. I'm not sweating about him really. Good Bring point. him off the bench, maybe because he might he will add that extra threat against Man City. I'm happy with that. The same way Trossard can come off the bench and, and make an impact. So listen, you know I, I ain't worried about that. He was sick against them last season, though, man. He was, wasn't he? Well, this season even didn't he score twice at the Etihad or something? Like one at least at the Etihad this season. Mm -hmm. So something to think about, definitely. Nathan says that um, the, that Liverpool midfield three screams Swansea 16 17. Swansea, you know, yo, that's a random one still. Uh, Assad said, Peter, keep your um, you man keep have kept two clean sheets at home this season. That's poor. Your star boy Saliba getting exposed, losing 10 jewels out of 10, you know. Yeah, Saliba didn't have the best of his, the best game of his life. Let's be very, very clear. And yes, our home record in terms of clean sheets is poor. It's very poor. You know, two home clean sheets in about how many games do you think we've played? Maybe 10 home games. It's not good enough. You know, I, I'm barely remembering the clean sheets if, you know, it was Newcastle or maybe West Ham. That's it. And to think West Ham Boxing Day is our first clean sheet of the season at home is it's, it's ridiculous. That's, that's mad, bro. You know, Leicester scoring two, Fulham scoring, Villa scoring, Man United scoring two. You know what I'm saying? Spurs scored. Like, everyone was scoring at our ground. So it's very, very frustrating. Um... Nathan says United fans loud again, you know, but won't say they're in the title race. Robinho, are you in the title race, yes or no? No. Top four. How? Is the how? Champions League is the goal. But how are you not in the title race? I respect you, Robin. <laughs> I don't believe you. No, I said that. Last time I said this, I said the points, the points, is the, the points aren't far. We're not title contenders. The goal was always this season to be in the Champions League. And that I'm remains saying, the goal. I'm if saying, are you in the race? No way. Look, nah, it's sports day. It. Listen, look, 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 it's sports day, yeah? 100 metres, right? It's the final heat. Are you one of the lanes? Are you in one of those eight lanes? That's all I'm asking. Are you are in the Newcastle race? one of the lanes? Are Newcastle yes. the lane? Yeah, yeah, sure. If you're who's saying ahead? it... Who's, who's ahead? Newcastle or United? United is ahead. We're third. How, by how many points? I think it's four, but we have a game in hand. You're four no, points. They, no, no, they have a game in hand. They have a uh, game in hand. You're a boy in it, man. Say again? You're a boy in it. You said, you said they're in the lane. Like, you know how, like, Usain Bolt won 2008, yeah? And then in, 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 in lane, lane eight was some random dude from Honduras that we've never heard of ever again. <laughs> what, that, what, that lane? Listen, I'm just saying he was in the race. I, 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 I
Oh, if I'm honest with you. If I'm honest with you. Nah, guys, we're not Man, there. Man United, to me, are in this title race right now because Arsenal and City have been dropping points over the last couple of weeks. Yeah? But Peter, do you know what? I just, I can't, I can't forgive. I can't forgive Palace away, Arsenal away. I feel yeah. like, for me, like, if United were to be in that race, they had to win those two games. And when you factor in the facts that they're actually two games, they've actually played two games more than Arsenal, I think. So I, I understand Robin's um, hesitation. Yeah. And, and to, to counter argue it, I guess you would say, look, Arsenal lost at Everton. This Everton, right? Lost at Everton this season. And City losing to Spurs. I don't care if they lose to Spurs every year. Losing to Spurs is just never... You know what I'm saying? You're trying to you're fighting for the title. People like Spurs, you should be dispatching. But you know, I get your point. I do get your point though, nonetheless. No, so, um, no, no. What, what, what the, I think that we will uh, I do think we'll be one of the top four now at this point. The gap between the other contenders is quite big to say that if we don't make it in the top four, then it's a bit bit of a failure. But um we need to get rid of a trophy. And me and Ernest, with, with the he, he wants to drop both Europa and FA Cup. I just look at it like this. Which one gets me into the Champions League? One of them is top four. The other is Europa League. Couldn't care less about the Carabao Cup. If we win it, it's a nice trophy. If Newcastle win it, they get a nice trophy. But at the end of the day, it just opens up seventh place to the Europa Conference League because that's what it qualifies for. What gets me into the, the, the big the big champagne? And that's all I care about. So, Yeah. <laughs> Wait, wait. Doesn't doesn't aren't you guys both going to be in Europe anyway? Newcastle and Man United. So what happens with that Europe at the moment? So the Carabao Cup, when of the Carabao Cup goes to Europa Conference League, and that's yeah. if you finish outside seventh place. But if you finish six of six or above, then it goes to the seventh place person. Wait, so they've made uh, that cup even more worthless. Yes, <laughs> yes. Top, I've always said. I always said. Good grief. Get, get get rid of the Carabao Cup. Just, just Ernest, cup. Mr. Candle Cups, Ernest, I said, nah, I need that Carabao. Now you're in the drink. <laughs> needs that drink, man. Let me tell yeah, you. When, when, when <laughs> you get to the final, you might as well. Why not? Why if, not? If you're in the final, losing to Newcastle would be a stinker, to be fair. Don't they want a yeah. cup to win? So to perform my water to the moon? Oh, okay. Right. Let's move on. Nathan says real quick: certain teams held three and four to Brentford. Say no mm. more. Say no. Mm -mm. Arsenal, Arsenal, the only team to win at Brentford this season. Damn. Arsenal, the only team to win at Brentford this season. Let's just put it that way, right? Um, big up you guys. Big up Baraka. You're done though. Big up Baraka out here doing his thing. Let's scroll through. Uh, Mirad says, "I can see the future. W against City. Then a W in our four in our game in hand. That makes it a nine point gap." Hashtag Champions Elect. We'll be back on by March the first when we play Everton at the Emirates. You see, you Hello. see, man, like like Mirad, yeah. You just need to let them hit their head um, multiple times before it hurts. Listen, well, he's, not saying anything learn... he's not saying anything about Kendish. He's not saying anything And then you will learn his lesson. I've tried to tell you, you didn't listen. All right, cool. You continue. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's not beyond the realms of possibility that Arsenal win both games. Don't worry. You first of all, he's talking about Haaland. Just let the guy, let him come to the Emirates. Yeah, the Haaland one, I have to say, look, brother, let's just let him leave. Let's wait he wait, wait till he goes and him. then start rinsing. Don't start pre-game rinsing, man. All right, you, bro. The bear with a stick. you know what I'm saying? Um, and then he, he goes on to say, I think Arsenal will turn up on Wednesday. I agree. Saka, Xhaka and Ake own goal. Excuse me? Are we saying 3-0? I know you're not saying three. I know you're not saying three there. He's Mirad. a mad. He's a madman. That's why he is. Let's see. Uh, right. yes, uh, Asa, Asa, you're gone. I was gonna say back to the game. Really, Everton Liverpool. This is a really 50-50 game. I don't know if Everton's got but I don't know if Everton's got but on. It's just this Liverpool's level right now. I don't. I, 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 it's fifty fifty. Hey, the football. <laughs> hey, the football stinks, bro. <laughs> You're like, what? Wrong. Oh, what? Everyone I'm not gonna lie, guys. Yeah, no one can tell me they, they enjoy 90 minutes of Sean Dyche football. There's no one, there's no one out there that enjoys that. Let's not lie. Um, Assad says, PS, let me spell out the Arsenal task for you. Pep is unbeaten in the Premier League matches at the Emirates. City have won 11 of the last 12 league meetings between the two. Okay, okay, I hear that. Man City are unbeaten against Arsenal in the Premier League since December 2015. Yeah, I remember that. Giroud and Santi Atola. Um, yeah, don't worry about that, brother. Don't worry about it. Asad, stick to your Chelsea and your Chelsea woes. Yeah, we'll get to we'll get to that in a, in a, in a minute, right? 
Um, man, there's so many comments, guys. Thank you very much. Mira says City in their away games um, lost to Spurs, lost to United, lost to Liverpool. Oh, that's oh, Mira, bang! I like that. That's a good. That's a good one to bring back out of the out of the can there. Oh, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Oh, hold on. But what yeah, always happens? What always happens? <laughs> if there's one team that gives you the <laughs> Oh, you know how, how do we stop an unbeat, a, a, a beat, a, a losing streak in the top six? Play the Arsenal. <laughs> oh, dear, dear. <laughs>